What's up, YouTube fans? Today, we're going to take a look at the 3.0 MDLX Bumblebee. So this is a smaller line that 3.0 started. You can see compared to my hands, relatively small. Uh, their premium line, they do have a Bumblebee there, but this is their smaller version. So they have an Optimus coming in this line as well. This was sent to me by Dr. Diecast for review. Thank you for sending me. I wouldn't take a look at stuff like this if it wasn't for people like Dr. Diecast. So we appreciate that. Now, I was really excited to look at something like this because I want to see what a premium company can do with an action figure at this scale. And that's what's really interesting here, so we'll talk about that. Um, but let's take a look at this figure. The detail on it is really awesome. So starting from the head, you've got that silver face and horns with the yellow. There's a wash pretty much all throughout this figure. You can see that on the head. There's a little bit of wash. Kind of looks like it's like dirty or he's been weathered, right? He's been through some battle. Got some nice blue eyes there. Autobot symbol here. You got the black panel lining, black detail here, silver detail on the inside, or I guess gunmetal. You got some gunmetal here. I mean, all of that comes out really nicely. All the yellow and the and the wash over the yellow just gives it that weathered look. More silver detail here on the legs. You got that classic bumblebee foot with the Volkswagen. Here's the back, again, fully 100% painted and detailed. You could maybe see that these are maybe the tail lights or something, but really, really nice. So he's not quite a G1 bumblebee, but he's not quite the movie bumblebee either. He's something in the middle, right? So it's just kind of their own take on this character. You know, he just looks somewhat Cybertronian, but yet he's got the Ultimode look from the G1 cartoon. So it's really their own take, their own look on Bumblebee. Let's take a look at the articulation on this guy. So he's got quite a bit. The head is on a ball joint, so that rotates all the way around. You do get side to side on the head. And that goes up and down, but then there's a neck joint, so you can see inside there. The neck joint goes all the way down to there and goes all the way back to there. I wish it went up a little bit more, but you can get him looking upwards. And you can go side to side with that as well. The shoulders are on double ball, kind of dumbbell, dumbbell style joints. So that inner joint can move, and then the outer joint can also move. So you get a nice butterfly joint out of that. But you can also rotate the arm all the way around, nice tight joint there. You can lift up this. That allow you to lift up the shoulder up to there. So you get some nice detail under there. It's all just really wound up. Their, their joints are always nicely hidden and nicely detailed. This is on a on a C clip, so you can pop it off, but just know that you can put it right back on there. So you can take that off and kind of see what's underneath. But it's a nice little joint there. You have a rotation at the mid bicep, and again, nicely hidden under. You have a double jointed elbow, so you can see this rear piece bends right here. And then this second joint bends here. It goes up to there, and then it's stopped by the, the sculpt there. So you do have double jointed almost all the way, um, just hindered here. They do say caution here, but I'm not really sure why. I just Maybe it's just a point of know that it stops there. The wrists go in and out here. It's on a ball peg, so it goes out to here, over to here. This is what's underneath. It's basically a ball peg. So this ball peg is moving around on the inside. So again, you have a barbell type joint. So you can get that in any direction. You can rotate it around. We'll show you the hands later. You can change those out. Moving down, you have a double jointed ab crunch. So if you use the bottom one, that will rotate all the way around. And it will crunch up and down. But there's another one here. And again, a hidden joint. 3-0 is so good at this. You can see if you bend that one, it exposes some of the detail under there. They just went all out and, and detailed it inside. So as you bend it, you know, that's basically all it goes. You get some exposed joints here, which is really cool. So really, really nice ab crunch there. For the hip skirts here, they're on a ball peg, so they're attached right here. It pops off that ball peg relatively easy, so you just got to be careful. But if you 
lift this out of the way, you can get the leg up to here. But you can also drop the leg down on a drop tying joint. Again, it's on that ball peg. All these joints are die cast, by the way. Uh, then you can get the leg really high, right? And you can kind of get this out of the way. And you can see I popped this off the ball peg. So just be careful with that. I mean, it's not, it doesn't feel like it's going to break or anything, but you do want to not force this, if you can, to, to get popped off this joint. So you can just put this right back on. It just pops right back in there. Out to the side on that same joint. So you got a, again, double bar, barbell style joint. Nice tight tolerances there. You rotation at the thigh around that universal, so that looks nice. That really works very well. You have a double jointed knee, so again, they've done the little moving piece inside the knee. And then it goes back to here. So you get up to there. You have a ankle tilt, so it goes forward to here, back to here. In the instructions they say caution back here. I'm not really sure why, maybe they're trying to have you be careful with this plastic piece, but it doesn't feel like it's going to break or anything, but I guess just don't push it too far. And then you have ankle tilt, both directions. And that's it for his articulation. Really nice, you can get into some great poses with this articulation. He comes with some alternate accessories here, so you do get an alternate headpiece. So if you like the masked look for a bumblebee, you can just pop this off the ball joint. It has its own ball joint in there, so I assume it just stays with the head. And then you push this in here, and now you can move it. So it's actually a double ball peg for the head too. So you can actually move that back and forth as well. Um, that's a nice look too. I, I almost kind of prefer this one just because it's a little bit more different than what we've normally seen with Bumblebee, but really cool. You also get two expressive hands here. So these are painted in detail the exact same way with that gunmetal, the yellow with the wash. All that looks really nice. So you can just pop these off the ball joint and then go ahead and pop on the new ones. And these work the exact same way, so they have the exact same articulation as the others. So you can get some nice poses out of those. You also get two gripping hands. So these are obviously for the gun. So we'll put um, this hand on so you can hold his gun. There you go. Here is his blaster. Again, Beautifully detailed, nicely painted, not just a straight color, it's got a wash on it. Um, just really, really nice. And that fits in his hand very nicely. You push that down. You can actually get it all the way down to his trigger finger. There's no trigger on it, but you can get it all the way down and set into his hand. So it looks like he's actually shooting it or, you know, pulling the trigger. But there you go for that. Really nice accessories there. And for a quick size comparison, there it is next to the MP21 Masterpiece Bumblebee. And they look really good together. I mean, it's about the same size, maybe a little bit taller to the top of the horns, but um, very similar in terms of scale with the Masterpiece scale. Now, obviously it doesn't transform, so we don't know what the vehicle would look like, but I'd imagine it'd be very similar given the scale of his robot mode. So final thoughts on the 3.0 MDLX Bumblebee. Let's start with the positives, and there are a lot of positives. The paint and sculpt on this is absolutely beautiful. There's nothing untouched here. Everything has been paid attention to in terms of paint and sculpt. There's just nothing left. Um, they also gave me really nice accessories. I love the alternate head sculpt. I actually like this one, but you have the choice. The gun looks good. The alternate hands work and they look good. Um, they just, they're really nice for posing and overall the quality and premium finish and feel of this figure is really nice. Um, I also like the articulation it is really, really well done. And it's at this scale and this size, it's something you don't see often is this level and this detailed articulation, right? This premium quality. 
Um, so that's really nice as well. Negatives wise, I think the price point, $60. Now I think it's worth it. I think this is well worth $60, but compared to other action figures that are out there, like the Transformers Red Line, or like the Hasbro lines for action figures like Marvel and G.I. Joe and others out there, it does seem a little bit pricey. It's about double the price of those twenty to thirty dollars action figures. This is sixty dollars, so it does seem a little bit expensive. But to me, it's well worth that price point. Now, if he was trying to compete and it was actually in stores, I don't think it would sell at that sixty dollars price point. But it's not in stores, right? This is a specialty item you get from places like Toy Dojo or other online retailers. So at that price, I think it's appropriate. Now, I do think. Hasbro would benefit from having a partnership with 3.0 and replace that red line with something more premium for collectors, something like this. Maybe not this level, but something closer to this so that we could get something that collectors really want. The red line really doesn't scratch that itch. It's just it, the materials and the paint and, and the overall articulation are just not well, well done enough for me personally. Um, but I highly recommend this figure. If you're into action figures and posing, especially for Transformers, then definitely pick up this guy. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.